Hello, my name is Kevin, and today we'll be covering one of the most extensive and core plugins that you can have on your Minecraft server, Essentials X. First things first, what is Essentials X? Essentials X is a plugin that you can use on any Minecraft server that has the server type spigot, bucket, paper, or anything in between that supports spigot or bucket plugins. Once you have those server types supported on your server, Essentials will bring pretty much everything else that you need core commands, to functionality for multiple homes, to a chat feature, and so on and so forth. Today, we will be covering most of those features and how you can use them on your server. We'll begin by showing you how to install Essentials X on your server. Before you can install it, you need to understand how you can download it. Whenever you first come to the Essentials X Spigot page, you're going to notice a download option. You can click it, but it's not going to download the plugin right away. Instead, you'll be taken to an Essentials X website where you can download all of the different versions of Essentials X. That's right, Essentials X is not just one plugin. It is a core plugin surrounded by many different add-ons of Essentials X. That includes the Essentials X core plugin, which adds most of the main features like teleporting, private messages, homes, warps, and more. Essentials X chat is an add-on you can get that adds chat formatting and local chat. You could also add Essentials X Spawn, which adds spawn point control and per player spawns. Essentials X Discord is an add-on that allows you to connect your Minecraft server to Discord. Keep in mind that if you use this, the Discord link is required. Then there are more add-ons, Essentials X Anti-Build that adds simple permissions for base building, Essentials X Geo that adds geographical player lookup, Essentials X Protect that adds configurable world protection and control, and lastly, Essentials X XMPP a plugin that you likely will not use. Now it's time to get the plugin installed. First, we're going to head to our server control panel and we're going to go into the file browser or file manager. We're going to enter the server files and then we want to locate the plugins folder inside of there. Select that plugins folder and inside you will find a folder full of all of the plugins that you've ever installed. Specifically, press upload and select the plugins that you'd like to add to your server. After a few seconds, they will fully upload. The final step is just make sure that you restart your server. At the top of your server's control panel, press that restart server button to make sure those plugins install. Now, let's jump into this plugin. As we cover Essentials X, if this video helps you, be sure to give this a like. The more likes that we get, the more that we know that we can make videos like this that you'll enjoy. We'll start by covering some of the regular commands you can run in Essentials. This includes the regular game mode command, but also the GM command for game mode. In addition, there's the message command. There is the TP command to teleport to any player in the game. The AFK command that's popular on servers. The warp command where you can not only warp to places, but set up your own warps on your server. The set home command. And the slash kill command uh, in case you get the urge. While there are hundreds of other Essentials commands that you can use on your server, it would take a long time to cover them all. Just keep in mind that you can use slash help to see all of the commands on your server. Now, let's jump into some of the specific add-ons of Essentials. One of the first add-ons we'll cover in Essentials X is Essentials X Chat. As you can see in the video right now, this is chat. Next to my name in chat, you will see that there is a default prefix tag. This prefix tag is from a series of different plugins, including the main plugin Essentials X Chat, which implements the chat formatting feature for this plugin. In addition to Essentials X Chat, you will need two other plugins, the Vault plugin and a Permissions plugin of your choice. There are many Permissions plugins out there, LuckPerms, Permissions EX, Group Manager. In this example, we will be using Group Manager. From there, you will just need to do a little bit of light setup on your permissions plugin. This involves setting up a few groups and adding prefixes to those groups. It usually only requires a few commands, or in LuckPerm's case, it has a built-in UI that you can use to edit your permissions plugin. Once you've done that, you'll be able to type in chat with the group that you're currently in, and you'll be able to see that prefix right in chat. This is all thanks to Essentials X Chat and those two plugins that I mentioned. Next up is Essentials X Spawn. This plugin offers spawn functionality to your server, including per player spawns. You're able to set a spawn like normal, or you're able to set spawns for specific groups 
and you're able to set spawns for specific players. This offers a lot of versatility when you're going to set up a server. And that's Essentials X in a nutshell. We could cover Essentials X Discord, Essentials X Anti-Build, Essentials X Protect, and Essentials X Geo. However, these are heavily configuration based and therefore do not necessarily require too much setup in game to be able to use them. If you're interested in seeing explanations and coverage of the other plugins of Essentials, be sure to leave a like and leave a comment below letting us know. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and have a wonderful day.